You are listening to Power Marketing with Kevin Lee. Here's Kevin. Any words of wisdom for sort of the budding entrepreneurs out there, particularly if they're in an underrepresented sort of class of the population and they're struggling with this idea of where, where, where do I go first? How do I start? Ah, how do you start? Well, of course, you start by reading my book. And, and I don't say that facetiously. You know, look, I, I, I really worked hard uh, to ensure that uh, folks could, you know, pick up that book right away and get started. You know, so there's a lot, even though I tried to make it really fun and funny, uh, there's, you know, there's a lot of very practical, tactical information for every step. And it is a life cycle. A lot of people think, oh, I'm going to start this business and own it for 20 years. That's not how it works. Your average small business is around, or at least tech startup, around for five to 10 years. And at some point in that you know, time frame, there's an inflection. You're either going to sell, you know, or if you've made it that long, you know, potentially you may fail. So I would say, you know, the, the first place to start is, of course, with that idea. The idea is important from that standpoint, figure out what kind of team you need, and then what resources do you need in order to get off the ground? A great place then to start is to fill out your pitch deck. And uh, for those of you who don't know what a pitch deck is, a pitch deck is, you know, you have 10 to 15 slides that explain all about your business. What's the problem? What's the solution? You know, what's the business model in terms of pricing? You know, what are, uh, who are the competitors, right? How much money do you think you can make over five years? When you answer all of the questions in that pitch deck, you're going to have a very well-rounded sense of what do I need? What do I need to, to be successful? Put a number together and then start fundraising. A great place to start fundraising is in your state. At this point, every state just about in America has an investment fund from the state that is their whole job, their only job is to help you get on your feet as a business. So, start there to start looking, hey, Connecticut Angels, or, you know, what's the Connecticut Startup Investment Fund? It exists. It's a thing. They, they actually have money that they want. In fact, need. they are required to hand out to their citizens. When a startup is sort of in its pre-money stage, maybe the deck is still uh, taking shape and or it's not quite ready, or they've made a couple of pitches, but haven't gotten the, the response yet that they want. Do you see that a lot of the startup founders and their teams now are, are, are starting up as side hustles where they're all keeping their regular full-time jobs so that they can pay their rent, but you know, spending evenings and weekends on their, their new venture? I think the side hustle is classic <laughs> and has been with us always in America. And you know, I don't know if you've watched Ted Lasso, you know, that, that great show on, on Apple Plus. And, you know, one of the things that struck me that is uniquely American that I think Ted Lasso did such a great job of portraying is, you know, Americans are just relentlessly optimistic in the face of, of even insurmountable odds. You know, we, we believe that there is a way and to a certain extent that has opened the doors to success to us, you know, in a way that other countries don't necessarily experience, you know, we're willing to be innovative. We're willing to take really big risks, uh, you know, because we think, Hey, why not? <laughs> it, it could work out. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I think that it's really important to, to, to understand your pitch deck, uh, even if it's a little soft, even if you don't have all of the full answers, that's OK. No one has. And to start, it's OK to start as a side hustle. This is a, a traditional American way of getting a business uh, you know, off the ground. I have multiple jobs. You have multiple jobs, Kevin. I don't know which at this point is the side hustle. I guess DBT, do big things is probably the side hustle at this point, but absolutely. It's a great way to start and it's a great way to test without taking as much risk. Now, I will say I've seen often that entrepreneurs don't always know when it's time to either let go of the side hustle or let go of their full-time job. And it's a bigger problem when people don't know when it's time to let go of their full-time job. So I'd say, you know, really be careful and, and set some milestones and some boundaries so you know, ha, huh, okay, we're at this level of revenue and I've pulled in this amount of funding. 
I got to quit my job so that I can focus 100% on getting to that next stage. Kevin Lee's Power Marketing is available on all your favorite podcast networks. Kevin loves helping businesses excel at marketing. Having marketing challenges? Just like Santa in the Miracle on 34th Street. If Kevin can't help you, he'll know someone who can. Find him on LinkedIn, subscribe, or follow.